hello traders it's Samurai Trader here today I'll be presenting a lesson called the power of chart patterns I'm going to be doing this over two separate videos otherwise it may drag along I think uh, there's around 30 slides in this particular uh, recording today that I'll be giving and I'll be covering a great deal of information so I would recommend that you have a pad and a pen handy now if you're watching this on YouTube if you're for a new user to YouTube of course if you go down to the left hand corner here um, you can expand this to fill the screen just make it a little easier in looking at some of the things I'm going to be talking about it's now 9 15 a.m. here in Australia where I'm recording this today uh, I've been up since around 2 30 or so a.m. trading the US market so if I sound a little weary or pronounce something uh, incorrectly please forgive me it's been a, a, a great morning a long morning particularly when you're looking at the screens for some hours and as I always say my video is always very real and direct so I must also mention the risk in any form of training trading there is risk never trade with money that you can't afford to lose attending these sessions having me coach you as your success coach and by investing in my trading programs etc the whole idea is that you don't lose money and one of the ways that we learn how to trade correctly of course is by gaining the right education and by gaining screen time I can fast track your career by giving you the best or the world's best day trading setups that's easy but one thing I can't give you traders is screen time that's something that you need to gain over a period of time and of course when it comes to learning to trade I have to say this there are no magic bullets you are going to make mistakes you are going to have losing trades the whole idea is is to become what I call a sniper most of you that know me I classify myself my trading style is one of a sniper that is one shot one kill I'm very selective uh, on the trading that I do and actually after this session uh, I'm going to be recording just a, a, a video on some of the trades I've taken over the last couple of days for my members and potential members and clients so if you watch that you, you'll have an idea and once again on YouTube I've got a lot of videos there now moving on um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention which I mentioned at the bottom of the previous slide is that very soon I will be launching and I'll be talking about this doing this for three or four months now launching a live trading room it will be limited to 50 members only and the reason it will be limited is just with the amount of emails and questions that I get the whole idea of the trade room is that we do some profitable trading and I don't know about you but I tend to get distracted and I found when I trade I really need to be focused for an example um, last night uh, before I retired for the evening I took a trade and you'll see this on this video I'm about to record the next one um, uh, I was watching TV as I quickly took a pivot bounce and T a T89 now a T89 with a pivot bounce is a highly accurate trade I mean it's generally if you do it right it's a good 90% trade and I have a standard 13 tick uh, profit target set up when I'm trading the NQ uh, 133 now I really should have gone for this particular case at least 18 ticks because my target was the 89 EMA which was 18 ticks below sure I got filled it was great I got 13 ticks out of it uh, it was a very small stop so it was a great risk reward trade however I was distracted so very very important thing is uh, to remember distractions and that's one of the reasons why I'm not going to have too many people in the room because I'm in this to make money from trading besides giving you the world's best education <laughs> I want to make money from trading uh, as well so getting back to this chart patterns footprints of smart money anticipating price patterns what we do know is that there are literally thousands of traders around the world all they do is pattern trade for example if we take Dan here Dan is famous for making 42 million dollars in 23 months these are audited figures so it's not just some uh, pie in the sky figure that he's plucked out with um, it's very well known in the industry he's made of course many millions of dollars as a trader he's someone to really sit back and to study and look hey how does he do it 
now he does not use indicators he uses volume and chart patterns alone he mainly trades stocks that's um, his uh, market of choice now I love researching and studying traders because I practice something very actively called modeling model success look at what the best of the best are doing and model what they're doing traders if you've watched some of my previous videos you'll hear me talk about the 5% club to truly succeed as a trader that is we know that over 90% of traders over time will lose their capital we have to be in the 5% club the top 5% interesting thing that Dan says here I never give up I never ever give up the only way you can ultimately lose in trading is by giving up remember persevere so when it comes to chart patterns because there are so many different types of chart patterns what I'd like you to do is to learn to focus on one or two patterns and master them now as you've heard me previously say when it comes to trade setups I always promote become a master at one setup one trading strategy become profitable at that before you move on you cannot move on until you master that one now a lot of the patterns that I show work beautifully in conjunction and they are patterns with them within themselves with the strategies that I teach so find a pattern that you like a setup that you like and become very very good at that before you move on to the next one now this is a, um, a photo I took just before I started recording this this morning I just thought I would um, just show you this on my trading desk uh, I have a very large desk but I have nothing on it it is totally devoid of anything else but my notebook for taking notes you can see on the right hand side there with my highlighter I have um, you just can't see that my trade entry journal I have this right here hopefully you can see my mouse moving around here this is my trading rule book and the trade setup so here I've got my trade setups that I'm looking for and I've got rules and other notes typed up now when learning to trade traders and in a video recording I'm going to be doing in a few along from this um, recording I'm doing currently I'm going to be covering extensively your trading plan and your trading journal and uh, your trade rules so what to have in front of you now I have uh, a lot of information on those two sheets when you first start if you are a new trader watching this or if you're relearning how to trade that is it hasn't been working out less is best you don't want to have much in front of you but the critical thing I want to bring up here in front of you uh, with you right now is these two folders here are two folders that I have just on chart patterns now quite often as we know we may be in a very very quiet time we may be in a consolidating market I may be just waiting for my alarm to go off to let me know that a, uh, that I have a trade about to trigger and I'll review my chart patterns during that time and I have various things here highlighted I take notes uh, as I have successful trades I'll take snapshots if it's interesting I'll then save that and sometimes print them out so I have six or seven of these folders this is my main one but with my trading journal my notebook um, where uh, I have literally dozens of these folders of these notebooks and every day I would do at least one or two pages of notes now when you're taking notes what the notes really do and when I go back and review them they remind me of things that I may have forgotten about or good ideas things I've noticed etc I practice what I call can I constant and never any improvement something that Tony Robbins talks extensively about and I really believe that as master traders we need to be sharpening our skills on an ongoing basis now very quickly before we talk about the chart patterns when I talk about char uh, sharpening my skills I don't mean moving from one strategy to another is there a better way is there a better way of trading this particular setup so let's move on to chart patterns some of the classics we have head and shoulders which we're going to be looking at uh, today double tops and bottoms price channels and I'll go across live to just have a look at a couple of channels some this morning uh, triangles and wedges 
and within that and the flags and pennants comes the famous wolf wave so I'm going to do these on a separate video I'll probably record this uh, in, a, in a day or two uh, so you can also consider uh, something I love is the wolf wave which is um, uh, very very famous the wolf wave but it fits within triangles and wedges now if we look at the language of charts fact prices tend to move in trends as you'll see on some of the slides which uh, I've been uh, teaching for close to 20 years now you'll see some of the dates on the charts might be one or two years old four or five years old uh, it doesn't matter the, the time frame the, the patterns have been here for 50 60 years and will always be here and it doesn't matter what time frame what chart what market so what they'll give you is a footprint of what's happening with your sharp money with the smart money let me get that right now this is something that I think fractals is one of the best kept secrets in trading now if you don't know what a fractal is uh, I talk a lot more about fractals in my training course in the fast track program and they're a great way and I have an indicator by the way that plots on my chart a black dot when I have a fractal set up because when it comes to drawing patterns in using trend lines or looking for patterns on my chart I use fractals and Tom DeMarc uh, if you look and read his books on trading the new science of technical analysis on how he draws trend lines and his patterns it's very very fractal based and of course Bill Williams he's written uh, uh, trading chaos and some other excellent books he trades fractals perhaps in a different way that I use I like to get in a little earlier before the move is over but please uh, uh, study fractals it's a great it will greatly assist you as time goes on so head and shoulders so there are four elements uh, to trading head and shoulder patterns a left shoulder a head a right shoulder and a neckline now what I'm going to quickly do is not spend too much time explaining you can stop the um, uh, the video here and read this in detail but let's have a look at some charts here so we can see here we've got the left shoulder the head the right shoulder and this is where our trend lines come in now using our strategies uh, the fast track program as you'll recognize a lot of these points here you would have super scalper uh, points appear in here and fractals as well so you would have had a fractal there here 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 uh, fractal here you would have had a fractal point here 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 in drawing these trend lines when you understand how a fractal is formed it makes drawing these a lot more accurate and it gives you a great deal more confidence now where you've got here into short on the break of a neckline the best way to gain confidence on drawing these is to go back and study charts doesn't matter what I show you here right now you really need to go back and draw them up yourself and spend time studying these setups it's a bit like reading a book on learning how to swim um, of course it's totally different when you read a book on how to swim but when you jump in a pool and start to paddle likewise in driving a car now another thing in learning new setups and some of these patterns remember when you um, learned how to drive a car if you learned by using a stick shift a manual uh, down here in Australia by the way we call them manuals in, in America of course as a stick shift um, you know you started to drive and you thought what I've got to watch the road use the indicators I've got three pedals and I and I've got to learn how to change these gears once again after a month or so it becomes second nature after a period of time of studying these sorts of patterns it becomes or you will develop what I call reflex reflex action and that's the stage you really want to get to now getting back to what I mentioned earlier on you know there's so many patterns you can trade you want to really find one that resonates well with you or fits within some of our main trading strategies that we teach once again master one setup before you move on to the other 
now in my fast track program by the way I provide a complete set of these in a PDF uh, for my students so moving on here we can see here taking uh, before we're looking at necklines or there on the right you can see going short so shorting the market here then over here we've got of course going long now here we've got a lower low so classically this upper setup we probably would have had divergence on our MACD or in our platinum here you probably would have had divergence here for the long side so these sorts of patterns uh, your trend lines and these patterns are great confirmation uh, to confirm your other trades looking at fractals once again you would have had a fractal pattern here a black dot appearing and another one here so in drawing a trend then applying a channel fractals make it a lot easier you would have had one here here uh, up here here but we'll say fractals for I'll move on stop talking about them now we'll look at those in more detail at a later stage so double tops and bottoms I love double tops and bottoms particularly when it's with the trend I use the 89 EMA and the 200 to give me a, a longer term view of where price action is heading of course some of the popular ones and uh, I use a, a channel a uh, an EMA channel as well which is a much lower time frame 34 EMA is very popular so find a style that suits you for newer students or those that are re-establishing themselves as traders please use the 89 a slightly young, longer term uh, EMA but double tops and bottoms are, are great indications of where the market is heading now spend some time in reading these once again stop and have a read but I want to move right on because I didn't want to make this video too long but we can see here a double top formation now this is where you'll quite often see double tops or double bottoms at, uh, at, at support and resistance levels that is at um, uh, pivot levels I should say sorry I'd lost the word there I was looking for at pivot levels so your s1s your s2s your s3s etc where you get a double top or a double bottom at these levels it increases your accuracy um, um, incredibly so where I get those at a double bottom double top you'll quite often see me and I think I had one yesterday where I actually entered uh, a, a double entry that is I had two trades on that is I went in there and uh, it started to move it come up tested the resistance then it uh, continued down I entered another 10 contracts you'll see me quite often do that now when I do that as I explain that I'm always doing it within my risk parameters as you know with all of my positions on at any one time I never risk any more than 2% ideally 0.5% per trade increasing up to 1% with two trades up to a maximum of four trades on multiple markets if I'm trading quite often the IM or, or the black gold uh, the oil at the same time as the NQ now so double tops are fantastic now here with these breaks we see these um, are also called your ABC patterns one two three patterns we would have been in uh, quite often on this candle or on this entry here because if you're waiting for some of these other entries quite often we've given back as a day trader a lot of the profit that we would have taken here an aggressive entry well this here would have been a typical counter trend move a t1 here and a t1 here and where we get these moves where they move up like this quite often these are what we call t89s a t89 is an 80 85 percent accurate trade where we're moving away from the means they're fantastic trades to take and watch my videos you'll see me take them every day for a very highly accurate trade so double tops and bottoms are a great trade for us to take we see a lot of this happen too we go up there you'll hit resistance we'll come down we'll bounce and up we go again and we all bounce again now 
on this point here if you have what we call a t89 move here quite often we'll see a move down will go up people will try to push it back up buyers will push it back up again before it fails once again if you look at your MACD if you're using that perhaps for a divergence you'll see that quite often on your second move here on the second top you're crossing the zero line on your MACD or about to you'll see that see that a lot and a natural fact you see a lot of traders they use a zero line cross on their MACD as an entry to take a trade they use it as a, so I should say a trading strategy so we can see here and, and I'm sorry I apologize I haven't been talking about the, the time frames but the, the time frame really isn't relevant because whether we're trading uh, minute charts range charts if you go back and look at some of these daily charts they appear in all time frames and all charts now I really want to get in and yes you can trade these breaks and your longer term traders and even the day traders will trade these we like to get in to some of these trades a lot earlier so we can see here a double bottom and once again go back on a chart find the time frame that suits you now in my particular case and this is his, his situation this is uh, and most of these there's a few YM trades but a lot of these but based on Forex this is an eight range uh, chart a smaller a range chart now on the euro uh, USD I love the five range but you see these patterns appearing every single day you'll see these now over here by the way this formation was probably caused by a spike by a news announcement um, some of these are not quite tradable um, that is when you catch these breakouts I move that quickly but this usually is coming to back to the short side and this almost certainly is a t89 I can almost guarantee you had a t89 which which basically was a great winner you get to and this is virtually you can see the slingshot formation there great trade setups so let's have a look uh, here at, uh, we've got here an 89 tick so this is a futures market so we can see here we've gone back to futures 89 tick now just on this point on trading the YM because you have low volume during uh, the main trading session I love the YM the 89 tick on the NQ uh, the 89 tick is, is a great market but sometimes it moves too quick that's why I usually will trade the 133 uh, tick now during the Globex session on the NQ I usually will trade the 55 tick referring to the 133 now uh, double tops and double bottoms you can just see these trades here so learn these charting patterns now going back to my trade books what I do and what I've done I should say is I've printed out my favorite trade patterns just as a reminder as a visual reminder remember as traders uh, there's so many different things that we need to remind ourselves about on an ongoing basis to so just by uh, looking at the charts on a regular basis uh, just as a reminder for an example this trade that I took last night that I'm doing a recording on very soon after I finish this one uh, I think it was about 838 850 I just can't remember the exact time now I took this trade it was a uh, as I mentioned earlier t89 pivot bounce uh, I'd like to and I didn't do it last night because it was a visual thing I quickly looked at my screen saw this setup and I jumped in I like to quickly review my trading rules uh, as I'm trading and before I trade particularly after a weekend as a reminder by printing out these chart patterns having them in a folder as you're trading during the day you'll have, or of an evening you'll have quiet times so you just go back and just as a visual reminder remembering the rules now price channels I love trading channels particularly when using uh, and I should have mentioned this earlier too uh, in using anchor charts now I am going to be doing a trading lesson I think I've got a book down in four sessions from now this is why you should subscribe to my YouTube channel or purchase invest in my program because anchor charts are an essential part of every professional traders arsenal and 
when using price channels I love price channels with anchor charts because you'll see bounces off the channel and they just give you these brilliant entry signals so I love price channels so if we look here at price channels now this is on the eight range there once again if you're trading uh, an anchor chart you're going to have a much higher time frame than a range chart now one thing just why I think of it here there's every professional trader has an opinion and even those traders that are professionals or perhaps that, that keep losing have opinions on how you should trade now some people say you should only trade uh, price channels or, or anchor charts I should say with time well I don't agree with that I love range and tick charts even with anchor to me it's irrelevant I just wanted to mention that because um, these price channels work on all time frames let's quickly uh, flick across I'm just going to pull trade station up and let's have a look at some channels from this morning so what I've got here is is trade station this is uh, this morning's action or, or uh, today for those uh, well you don't know what date it is probably so it's the 2nd of June down under it's the 1st of June in the US and this is the NQ 133 tick so what I've got here is marked up a number of uh, trades here but here we can see here I've got some uh, I've gone short here uh, now let me just clarify that I was still in bed at this stage but I would have shorted uh, up here now by the way here's a classic case a, a, a small t10 that I would have been stopped on because my stop on a 133 is two ticks above this would have been a losing trade for me winner 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 now that one there for those at Nova setups which we're not going to cover today you wouldn't have been in that because of our zero lag but we then fired off three or four winners in a row and basically would have just about been finished for the day so let's have a look here getting back to drawing channels um, let's have a look here right now what I'm going to do here is extend this right so because here of course you don't know what's going to happen down here so I look like to look here and we can see these black dots that I have let me actually just remove that again so see these black dots here uh, these are the fractal points now all they are is showing me that I've had two candles up to the left and two candles up to the right now I like to have at least two or more which give me a great point for drawing trend lines so let's just say here I'm here on the action at this stage this is not form so ignore all of this over here what I'm going to do here is now extend my line to the right and bingo now what I now want to do here is do a parallel line now look at this here isn't this amazing so I've drawn it here what's the market go and do bang it bounces off here now here it doesn't quite go up and reach there now as you get more formations you then pull this in once again this is not exact close enough is what I call good enough when it comes to channel trading so we can see here uh, I've now we've now had this one form I might pull this in a little bit more just to tighten up this channel this one here I've extended the right as well and what happens here I'll just pull it in a bit my channel you can see this channel you can see how price is generally contained within the channel now we then come down here we've broken out of a channel but what have I then got I've got a beautiful it's a t89 I won't go into why it's a t89 on this channel uh, on this uh, video recording and I've got a great pivot bounce bang we come up near the channel bounces down then we have a breakout and it continues now what we've got over here is a long-term rising uh, my, my long-term stoke is rising I've got a, a, a t1 formation and a confirmation here and this is basically a double bottom and away it goes until I get my t89 which is a beautiful winner now but let's go back to trading channels so let's have a look at this here so of course when I get to this stage we don't know what's happening across here remember this is all blank over here we've got no idea 
so what I'm going to do is do a trend line and I want to extend it right again look at this here I had two or three points once again a little more width here so I had this one and this one ignore the white paint bars but I got my little fractal point so I extended it right look at this bang it bounced come down and bounced and it bounced again now I don't know about you traders but I just find it fascinating these patterns uh, appear in the market every single day now let's now go and do a parallel line let's go up here and look at this all I've done this is just an identical line to this one gone up here then to these points here okay remember I only had these I extended that I then draw a fist point moved it up to here bang 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 before finally it broke now traders this is why you need to learn how to trade using parallel lines channels double tops double bottoms etc so you'll see these patterns every single day and you can see what happened then down here we then had a slight breakthrough before we had a bounce up it went we had another bounce went up there look at this here now I have a fair amount on my chart here so sorry if you're getting lost here when you're learning to trade these setups you know you want to minimize the information of course is on the chart I, I get to read this I know this well but look at this extension of this line here see we went up and we bounced off it again we had a small bounce before we had a T2 and we continued for a T89 which is a lovely trade up here so hopefully it just gives you an idea of the power of learning these trading patterns are extremely powerful now getting back to learning these if you are a new trader perhaps just found me on YouTube and you're wanting to learn how to day trade you learn these over a period of time I want to say a period of time 30 to 90 days treat it as a 90 day apprenticeship or internship within 30 days you have all these massive aha experiences that is you start to um, mark these up on your charts as you see them and even going back and marking them up and if you put in just two to three hours a day now I know what some of you are thinking I can't find two to three hours a day become a to become a master traders you have to find at least two hours a day get home don't watch the video. turn your TV off unplug it go and sit in front of your charts this is trading is going to make you wealthy there is nothing like it in the world you know come along and trade with me and you'll get to see the excitement of it I love it it's my passion it's my lifeblood and it can be yours too it'll change your life but you do need to invest at least two hours a day learning this stuff it's not difficult trading is not rocket science so what we can then see is price channels where we're range bound and we can see this happen quite often um, of a support trend line we see on the bottom here might be a pivot level we just bounce around bounce around uh, and we see this uh, virtually every night trading the um, European market leading into the opening of the New York market quite often we'll go into a period of uh, resistance or support where we just have what we call a trading range and so then we're waiting for a breakout now these breakouts that we want and so when we look at these boxes and of course you've got the Davis box and lots of other um, people teach you all sorts of things when it comes to trading these boxes I love to see a break out of them and come back and retest why you'll have professional traders will break out that will run the market take it all the stops then I'll run back down again so watch out for your false breakout so what we like to do is see a breakout come down test and then continue and these are uh, quite often what we call t10s or t2 setups very very easy to uh, recognize over a period of time once again practice drawing these trend lines channels um, uh, and putting the parallel lines so you can get to draw them and you'll, you'll just be amazed now in my next video I'm going to continue with chart patterns and cover triangles wedges and the famous wolf wave I love 
the wolf wave now the wolf wave is nothing more than a than a triangle and, and or a wedge depends which way you look at it but it's also great for putting in what we call measured moves that is it gives you a, a higher return to target you can go for two two to one so for every dollar you're risking you can target two dollars and they're a great pattern quite often it's a change in trend pattern but an incredible pattern you really want to learn so hopefully uh, over this 35 minute um, video traders you've taken some notes or started to get some ideas please go back and rewatch it stop it take notes trade is it's absolutely critical that we gain an education as we say formal education will make you a living self-education will make you a fortune the trading industry is untapped for most people because they just they don't get serious about learning how to trade is that trading is not difficult as you heard me talk about before it's not rocket science anyone can learn to trade as long as you're willing to put some work into it um, take notes study uh, and become a specialist thank you traders I will see you in my next video